Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and today we're recording at the North Pole Ice Rink in Cambridge Park as Peace. I'm here with Max, and we're going to be taking a look at how to do the poke check. So what a poke check is, it's going to be one of those skills that's essential for any defensive player to learn, and it's where you use your stick to poke the puck away from an opponent. So one of the first tips I wanted to give you is when you're going one-on-one -on -one with one of the forwards and you're getting ready to poke check them, try to avoid staring directly at the puck. You want to look a bit upper body to see which direction they're going to be moving on the ice. While poke checking, hockey players will often only use their top hand on their stick, leaving their bottom hand free, as this adds a little bit of extra range on how far you can reach with your hockey stick. Coming back to my point about poke checking somebody and focusing on the puck, nowadays there's a lot of talented stick handlers out there who can dance the puck around you in circles if you're going to be trying to poke for the puck. There's lots of skills that they can use now, they can use toe drags to move the puck constantly away from you while you're trying to go for it. So instead of focusing on the puck while you're trying to uh, poke check them, what you need to be able to do is focus on Max's hands and his stick. If you block his hands from his stick and the puck, there's nothing that he can do. So instead of going for the puck when you're poke checking somebody, what I want you to try and visualize is a triangle between their hands, the puck, and their legs. All you want to do is intercept this triangle, block their hands and their stick away from the puck, and there's nothing that they can do. You can use this time to then have one of your teammates sweep the puck up, or if you're able to, knock the puck away from him and pass it to one of your teammates, or leave a floater for one of your teammates to be able to grab. So an example of what I mean by doing this is, use your stick, I'm going to use, keep my um, top hand on the stick, keep my uh, hand that sits normally at the bottom of my stick nice and free, so I can use it to stand him up. So instead of poke checking for the puck, I'm going to use my stick to block him up, I'm going to use one hand to hold him up so he can't move. You can see that there's nothing that he can do. He can't get to that puck now. So I can either use this time to kick it away to one of my teammates or have one of my teammates come and pick the puck up. A quick example of doing that one more time. Remember the triangle. Hands, puck, legs. Intercept that triangle with your stick. Stand him up. Hold him away from that puck. You can see I'm free to either knock the puck away while I hold him up and one of my teammates can come and grab that for him. So the points you need to keep in mind while you're going to be standing somebody up in the middle of the poke check, as we said, you're going to intercept that triangle we showed you. You're going to hold them up. And while I'm doing this, you can see that I'm on my inside edges. I'm using these edges of my skates to give me a nice bit of them support. And it also means that if I need to, I can push if the player's offering a bit more resistance. You also need to keep the basic points of um, your athletic stance in mind, which is a nice wide base. You skates just over shoulder width apart because you're going to need the force to be able to push someone. I'm going to be leaning on my inside edges and I'm going to be keeping fairly low so I'm on balance. You don't want to be keeping up trying to stand someone up like this because you're not going to have any push and you're going to be off balance so remember your athletic stance knees bent nice low base for a good center of um, gravity uh, and a good level of control over your own body so you can have the ability to push someone while you're on the ice and as we said with this um, poke checking method that I'm showing you over here don't be afraid to be creative so if um, Max over here used his stick on the other side obviously me trying to hold him up with this side wouldn't sort of work so be creative don't be afraid to switch hands and use your other hand to hold them up it doesn't matter how you do it so long as you stop them from using their, their stick and keep them out of contact with that puck. That's all you need to keep in mind. So be creative and come up with different ways if you're unable to use this method of being able to intercept their hands and their stick from being in contact with the puck. So one of the other tips I can give you if you're going to be poke checking someone is to keep the stick fairly close to your waist as if you're going to be stick handing. So you can see I'm not um, tending to be all the way out here waiting for the puck to be able to come into my reach so I can try and jab at it. I'm not lurching over too far forward. I'm going to stand fairly straight in my stance, obviously maintaining a good level of balance and control while I'm on the ice, but I'm going to keep the stick fairly close to my body, just in front of my belly button as you can see over here. What that allows me to do is, because Max is going to be analysing what I'm doing on the ice very, very quickly while he's coming at me with the puck, and he's going to think that because this is where my stick is, this is the furthest I can reach for the puck. Just this area over here, and provided he keeps that puck away from this area over here, he can get around me fairly easily. But as I'm keeping the stick fairly close to me and I'm not lunging out as far as I can, when the puck gets a bit closer and it's within my distance, I can then lunge out, surprise him, and poke the puck away. So the best tip I can give you in this instance is to not be stretched out to your maximum. You want to be able to sort of lure the player in and when the puck gets into a distance where you know that you can safely be able to take a stab at it without um, sort of throwing yourself off balance, like if I was trying to do that and go all the way out too far forward, that's when you want to sort of lunge out for the puck. So remember, keep the stick fairly close to your body. Imagine a half circle in front of me over here and that's where I want to keep my stick within this circle over here. And if Max sort of gets just to the boundaries of that circle, you know that I'll be able to then lunge out, surprise him and knock the puck out of his hands. So what the previous clip was just showing is a player's stick zone. A player's stick zone is the reach that a player has with their stick around their body. A good defenseman will hold their stick fairly close to their hip, making it seem like their stick zone is much, much smaller than it actually is. You can see this demonstrated in the red and the yellow. The red section on the image right now is showing you roughly where you'd want to hold your stick while you're trying to make it appear that your stick zone is much, much smaller. The yellow area is roughly about the, the space that you have to fully extend out while you're poke checking without being off balance. 
When an attacking player enters this yellow section you can see shown in the image, you can then surprise them by then extending from the red area into the yellow area and knocking the puck away from their stick. So this has been a quick look at how to poke check. Remember the main tips in mind. Don't focus on the puck, focus on the player's hands and their stick and their upper body. You want to be able to look at what sort of directions they're going to be going in. Thanks for watching guys and as always if you want more tips be sure to click on hockeytutorial.com and register on the website. We also have a forum page where if you have any questions that you'd like to ask that's the best place to post them so you can get a nice quick response from one of the hockey players on the website or from myself as well. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and the Facebook page which will be down below so you can stay in contact with all of the latest content and also any um, giveaways or promotions that we might be doing at the time. This is Max and Chris recording here at the North Pole in Cambridge, Parker's Peace. Thanks for watching guys and a massive thanks to the North Pole for allowing us to record at this ice rink once again. Thanks a lot guys and take care till next time.